Hello friends, welcome to Machine Learning The Future Course. So in the last part, we have seen the theoretical concept behind the decision tree regression model and in this part we will actually start with the practicals. So let's begin machine learning. So for that we will be using Anaconda wherein we have launched Spider as our Python console. So let's create a new Python file. Yes. So let's do one thing, we'll actually set our working directory. So for setting our working directory, you can actually go into this entry. And yes, this is our working directory, as you can see. And if you can see salary underscore position dot CSV, this is our CSV file, which we'll be using as our data set. Let's have a look at our data set first. So in this data set, it will be level and salary. So salary column will be the entire salary structure for with basis of the level of the person. So salary will be your dependent variable and level or we can also consider this as a number of years of experience. So that will be considered as our dip independent variable. So we'll be using this data set in our creation of regression model so let's begin creation of our model so first of all let's copy all this because it will be as a kind of a regression template we'll be using it for creation of a machine learning model so let's do that yes it's done so initially there will be importing of libraries In the next step there will be importing of data sets and the value for our data set will be the same and the x which is matrix of features and the y vector of dependent variables will be the same you can actually remove this print statements now the next step will be fitting the decision tree regression to our data set so fitting decision tree regression to our data set so as you can see that the number of years of experience of a person with respect to the salary so here we can actually implement a case study saying that what will be a uh, actual uh, salary of a person having experience of 6.5 years as we can see which will be between these two mm -hmm. so if a person is predicting his salary having a uh, years of experience 6.5 years as 1 like 80000 so when actually implement decision tree algorithm or decision tree machine learning model and predict whether he is saying truth or it is just bluffing it so let's do that so fitting our decision tree regression to our model and in the next step we'll actually predict the values so for that so let's prediction of new value which will be implemented over here so let's fit our regression to our data set so for doing that we'll be using a scalearn library but the class would be scalearn.tree scikit library from which we'll be importing a class which is which is decision tree regressor so from scikit library dot tree import decision tree regressor now let's create an object out of this class so regressor is equals to decision tree regressor and we'll keep the default state which will be the random state as zero will be random state as zero and now in the last step let's fit the model the data set so let's fit and as you can see it's just fitting it to our data set so yes we have properly done that let's execute our steps one by one 
importing the libraries yes it's implemented next is importing the data set it has been implemented as well if you can see this is our data set which is properly implemented as you can see this is the value of x the value of y so for prediction of a new value we'll actually use y underscore Predict variable which is equals to regressor dot predict what will be the matter predict so it is a yes predict and what will be the value over here 6.5 as we want to see whether the person having years of experience 6.5 is bluffing or saying truth and the last step visualizing our decision tree results so for that for the visualization we'll actually do some changes we'll actually do the c tree regression x comma y color will be red and here it will be changed to regressor dot predict x color will be blue it will be titled as decision tree Everything will remain same. Let's execute our instructions. We have executed till the data set importing. And let's execute this. It has been implemented properly. Now let's execute this one. Okay. So what is the value of y predict over here? 1,60,000 so the person has implemented or the person having experience of 6.5 years is having a value of 1,60,000 let's look at a graph yes so this is our graph but as you can see this is a continuous graph but there seems to be a problem over here so the graph between the two points needs to be constant as decision tree takes average and the value remains same so what will be a reason for this because as you know decision tree is not a continuous model we have also seen in our practicals or in our theoretical classes that it will have an average value between the two points and that will remain constant for all values of y but in our graph as you can see the value is actually changing and there is no constant value between two points so for that let's do one thing let's use a higher resolution to plot it out so for a higher resolution we'll be using this one so we'll use decision tree regression for smooth curve results and over here we need to change something so it will be the predicted values regressor object which will be regressor dot predict and it will be x grid so this brackets which we need to adjust over here and x grid is the same dot reshape length comma one this will be the red color this will be blue this will be decision tree decision tree regression level and salary let's look at the results for this and yeah this is the actual decision tree regression model so this makes sense because decision tree divides graph into rectangles as you can see so here as you can see between 3.5 to 4.5 or between as you can see between any two points there will be a constant line and so on so average of values of dependent variables as you can see will be constant between two points so here is the constant 
value between two points so from this point to this point it will remain constant from this point to this point the value will remain constant so here it is so that's it I think that's what we want to predict it so what is the value for a person having experience 6.5 years it is 6 1 lakh 60 thousand so his bluffing as he has already told us his value is or his salary is 1 lakh 80 thousand so this is this can be predicted using our decision tree machine learning model so I hope you are enjoying this video series that's it for the decision tree regression will create or will create or will learn some new regression model in our next chapter till the next time thank you very much bye bye